everybody panda here and welcome to my channel i'm super excited you're here thank you for clicking on this video i am going to be painting uh bob ross paintings on my chuck taylors so i'm gonna go through uh the process tell you why i made the choices i did so that if you want to paint your own chucks you um have the information that you need to do that the first thing I did was make sure to uh, get a fluid acrylic medium that would create a fabric paint um, a type of situation. So I used GAC from Golden. I mixed it with titanium white acrylic paint from Liquitex. And this is my liquid white. And I am going fast because, um, well, <laughs> this is a sped up video, of course, um, for parts of it. But uh, in real life, I am also painting quickly because I want to take advantage of the paint still being wet when I start my first background colors. So things like the sky and the water and the sunset all um, just blend much better if you're applying it to uh, wet backgrounds. So, the, um, the uh, liquid white that I put down, um, you know, kind of uh, preps the surface and then I get a nice smooth uh, uh, blended application of the background. So um, Bob Ross uses oil paints. Um, oil paints act a lot different than acrylics do. So I'm adapting based on what I know about the difference between oil paints and acrylic paints. Maybe that sounds complicated. I promise it's not. You can do it yourself. Um, so, you know, don't give up. Give it a try if you want to. You can do it. <laughs> um, uh, sorry about this camera angle here. I promise it gets better. Once I see how this turned out in this clip, I do try to um, be more mindful of where the camera is. So you'll start to see an improvement in the camera angles. So what I'm doing is I'm just following his uh, his lead on, on the tutorials. If you go down to the description, you will see links to the paintings so that if you wanna do these particular paintings on your shoes, you can do that yourself. Um, you'll see that I did um, kind of adapt the painting to the shoe um, to take advantage of the height that comes up over the ankle. So, and again, I'm just using acrylic paints, um, just a normal set of brushes, nothing fancy. Okay, so there you can see a little, um, kind of my setup here. Um, I used a, a mister to uh, spray water droplets onto my acrylic paints just so that they um, stay nice and wet on the palette. Since then, I have purchased a uh, Masterson, uh, <laughs> Masterson's Stay Wet palette. I had one of these back in the day, but I was also not a responsible artist back in the day, so um, I would leave paints and then not come back to the painting for so long that it was just gross. So um, now that I'm a responsible adult, uh, I am going to be taking a lot better care of it. <laughs> and my brushes are lasting me a lot longer and everything too. It really does matter to make sure that you, um, you know, don't leave your brushes in water, uh, you know, wash everybody off, you know, just take good care of things. They will last longer. I know it's hard when, when you're young and you have so many fun things to do. That you just don't have time for responsible decisions. I get it. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really know what else to tell you about this. I guess um, the last thing really was I, you know, let them dry. Uh, you know, for for longer than necessary. I I just let them sit. Um, you know, really unbothered for quite a while. I hope that was helpful. Uh, I hope that you give it a try and paint your own Bob Ross Chucks. And um, yeah, thanks.